Hello everyone, breaking headline parody story report entertainment show. A manhunt is on the way for white man Sean Bossy, 27. Uh, he escaped from the Oklahoma jail. He was an inmate there and he overpowered two guards. He must be a real powerful man. But he's charged with three counts of first degree murder. Uh, he is accused of killing a woman, there's uh, Katrina Griffin, 24 years old, and her two children, Kristen, who is 8 years old, and Chastity, who is 6 years old. Then he is accused of setting a fire, and uh, he had said that he had dated a girl for a couple of weeks, and they got in an argument. And uh, she was stabbed uh, eight times. And uh, her Christian was stabbed five or six times. I uh, want to tell you my disclaimer. I got this is a real good story. It's a tragedy what happened to uh, Katrina Griffin, just a mother of two. And uh, she. She lost her life and her two children. This uh, Sean Bossy, I believe, is a nut, but he's powerful. He's a powerful man. But I, I want to tell you my disclaimer before I go much further. Uh, some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent, and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody story report entertainment show is a parody. That means don't take anything I say seriously. Don't take anything I say personal. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. If you disagree with my disclaimer, get your happy ass off my channel immediately. Now this Sean Boss, he's 27, he's powerful, he weighs 215 pounds, he's a powerful man, he's just 5 feet 10 inches tall, but he's powerful. And uh, he overpowered these two guards and stole a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix in his escape. Another police officer seen him driving the car, but he, he didn't know he had overpowered him. He didn't know about it. If they would have radioed him, he, he could have could have apprehended him. It's more to the story. I, I'm, I've got a lot more to the story. It's a real good story. I got to break away for a second to tell you who I am. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. Most y'all know my cousin. He don't get no respect. I don't get no respect. Uh, my cousin, you know, he's deceased. Rodney Dangerfield. And he, he was famous for not getting no respect. No matter where he went, he got no respect. Seemed like the IP deceased. The monkey jumped on my back that everywhere I go, I don't get no respect. I went to get me a pack of cigarettes and a bitch boy behind the counter carded me for my ID. I was 63 years, I'm 63 years old. And a bitch boy, a bitch boy carded me. I said, hey pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy carded me for ID. And then I went to get me a six pack of beer Another bitch boy carded me five day. I said, hey pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy carded me. Then I went to get me a senior citizen. I went to a family restaurant and got a dinner. And then I went up to pay for my dinner and another bitch boy was behind the counter. He charged me full price. I said, hey pal, I want my senior citizen discount. Bitch boy carded me. I don't know what's going on. It's bitch boys everywhere. Bitch boy, bitch boy, bitch boy. The world is really changing now. You know, there's bitch boys everywhere I go. But anyways, um, I took my wife to a dude ranch, and she left me for a black dude. I tell you, I don't get no respect. 
and my wife turned gay on me. I said, honey, why would you turn gay on me? She said, with men like you in the world, it makes her turn gay. I tell you, I don't get no respect. And one day, my wife and I sticks to make love, and she was laying on the bed like in a figure four position, legs like in a figure four position. And, uh, you know, she was in a deep stare. I said, honey, what's wrong? You can't think anyone to fantasize who you had sex with while we, we make love? She said, no. I said, hell with it, neither can I. So we didn't even make love. And people keep asking me, why would your wife leave you for a black dude, Rodney Dangerfield? Come, what's wrong? You're not a man. I go, well, I, I guess she want to get back with her own color. But anyways, I was having a lot of problems with my wife. So I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com. All it is is a recording of a girl. She'll say, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? She'll say, if we was alone and together, I'd suck on your neck, French kiss you. I don't have a gag feature. <laughs> and, uh, you can hold my head down as tight as you want to, go in the front door, back door, side door, I love it all. I said, damn, that got my dingling excited. But I, all that was was a recording. So I said, I want to talk to a live girl. I called a live girl service. And she said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone. So anyways, then I wanted to generate some money. I went to another website called freebuysaletradeanything.com. My brother bought a 55 Chevy back in 1955 for $1,850. He gave it to me. I drove it for about 10 years. Then it had been sitting up on the old family farmhouse for the past 20 years. And I put it on freebuysaletradeanything.com and I sold it for $3,000. My brother just bought it for $1,850, so we made a profit on that. And uh, then my wife, you know, and I, we went on and got a divorce. She was a bully. She was bullying me. She didn't want me to say, honey, sweetie, dear, your president, y'all, us, them, dude, buddy, Everything I said, she would try to bully me and say, Don't say that! You're disrespecting me! You're disrespecting! God damn, she's a nut! So, I wanna, we got a divorce. I wish divorced that nut. She was a nut! And uh, then, I, I went on uh, free buy, sell, trade, anything.com. They got a personal section. I put an ad on there. I was looking for a young Christian girl to go to church with me, go pray with me, go to movies with me, go dancing. And a young 21-year-old Caucasian girl answered the ad. Her legs are real flexible, and I can bend her legs back like a frog's legs. And we're engaged to be married. She wants to have my baby. She's deeply in love with me. She's always asking me, do you love me? Where are you going when you're coming back? How long are you going to be away? Where, uh, do you love me? Where, uh, you know, she's always questioning me. I don't mind answering the questions. We're deeply in love with each other. And uh, everything's going real good in this relationship with this Caucasian girl. Uh, they, I used to think opposite attract. They attract, but they sure as hell don't get along good. They fight and argue like a dog and a cat. They're opposite. And... Uh, she, she was a bully. I've dealt with a lot of black people that are bullies. They're always trying to bully me, bully me, bully me. They think they're better than me. They're racist. They're real racist people. You know, one of them dealt with the racist. If there's any critics or anybody wants to put a comment about my show, I appreciate you typing it in the section below. Uh, Y'all criticize Elvis Presley, Muhammad Ali, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela? If you can criticize him, I believe you'd have no problem criticizing me. But anyways, if anybody knows where this Sean, uh, this Sean Bossy is, call the law immediately. He's a nut. He needs to be captured. God bless you.